Hello my fellow fantasy book lovers and welcome to my channel. In today's video I want to talk about the books that I read during the month of October. And October for me was a rather quiet month and also a not as much reading month as I hoped it would be. I was a little bit overwhelmed with everything happening around Halloween, I had very busy deadlines etc. So I didn't read as much as I usually would or as I have in the past few months. But actually this amount of books is a normal amount of books for me to read which is one book a week, which is more or less four books a month. Now I want to start this reading wrap up with two books that are a duology and I never expected I would actually read these, uh, but they had been recommended to me from someone and I was like sure fine whatever and these are very hyped on BookTok. And we are talking about Hunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline. Now do note that these books are very very specific, are very very trigger heavy look into these triggers and if you are not sure if you will enjoy these books then don't read them. I personally found the first book Haunting Adeline in which we have the main character who lives in a house where something has happened, she also has a stalker, I thought that book was okay-ish. It was by no means the best book I've ever read but also not the worst and I actually read to that book in only a few days because it got me hooked so quickly, it was very intriguing, the writing style is very good um, and I was able to find Hunting Adeline for the ebook version, but Hunting Adeline part two, because book one ends on this massive cliffhanger and I needed to know what happens next. So I actually purchased for way too much money Hunting Adeline because it's very difficult to find here in Belgium and I also finished this book in only a few days. Book two is a lot more disturbing than book one. If you didn't, if you started reading book one and you're not sure if you're gonna like book two because you didn't like the direction that the end of book one is taken, don't read book two. Um, it's a lot of talking about sex trafficking, etc. It's a very heavy book and I never want to read these books again. The writing style is good, but the content was just a little bit too much for me. Um, I liked the romance part of the first book with a girl falling in love with her stalker, yada, yada, yada. I like that. <laughs> But in book two I feel like it missed a lot. Also the main character lacks personality a lot, in my personal opinion. A lot happens to her but you never feel like her true personality comes through or that she even has one. So I felt a little bit disappointed. These books have been so hyped, so overhyped, even that I thought there must be something good about these. But what I personally think is that a lot of people hype these books because of the shock factor that they have, especially if you've read them you know what happens in these books. It's it's really disturbing. So I personally would not advise anyone hunting and hunting Adeline unless you are very much into the specific triggers that are talked about at the beginning of the book. If you want to check them out, look them up. Um, it's very easy to find them. If you are not into that, then stay away from it. This is not fantasy. This is not what I expected. Um, I give these two stars because the writing style is good and I think if this author would have written other types of books that are not as trigger happy I might have liked them more. But yeah that's my personal opinion of course. The next book that I read is God Killer by Hannah Kainer and I absolutely loved this book. In this book we follow a God Killer, a person who kills gods, on her way to kill gods where she lives or where she's traveling around and she encounters this little girl who somehow has a god attached to her. At the point of the end of the book we still don't know why or how this has happened but they're trying to figure out what has happened to them. Um, something bad happens to the family of the girl as well um, and that's why she is stuck with the god killer kind of to figure out what's happening. This is a fantasy book, this is a really good book and at first I wasn't sure if this was going to be a standalone or not but only this week it has been announced that there is going to be a book too. And the next book is going to be called Sunbringer and is announced to release in February next year. So I am really happy that there is a next book announced for this series. I hope I'll be able to get my hands on an equally pretty edition as this one. Um, yeah I really enjoyed this book if you're into different types of gods and a fantasy universe and um, these like underdog hero type stories. I think that's one for you then. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the pacing of this book because it is a short book but a lot happens. So I was able to read this book very fast and I was really happy that I was able to read it very fast um, because yeah so much happened, it's very fast paced, it's very entertaining, 
Um, I loved it. The next book I read is Thornhedge by T. Kingfisher. And the reason I cannot show you my physical book is because I borrowed it to my sister-in-law because I enjoyed it so much that I wanted her to read it as well. Um, if you're not familiar with T. Kingfisher, she is actually known under another name under which she writes uh, children's novels. And under the alias of T. Kingfisher, she actually writes adult fantasy books as well. Thornhedge is a very, very short book. I read it in one sitting in only a few hours and it is actually an alternative take on Sleeping Beauty. So you have someone who is locked up in a tower sleeping and you get all of the explanations why, but from a totally different point of view and it's not like the fairy tale you know. And I think for how short of a book this was, this was a very good book and I really enjoyed it. And I personally really love the writing style of T. Kingfisher, so I have a few more books by them that I have currently in my bookcase waiting for me to read. And I think I will read them somewhere in the next months because they are very easy to read and quick and easy reads as well. And that's actually it for the books that I finished during the month of October. I also DNF'd the book. I started reading the Book Eaters really didn't get into it and I DNF'd it at more or less the halfway point of the book. I just... it didn't click for me. I might pick it up later again, but especially not now. I just... I want to lead more light and every fantasy. So that book is not really what I'm into. And I also started reading The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Penaranda, but that will be one that I hopefully finish during the month of November and talk to you about next month. If you've read any of these books, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of them. And if there's any other books that you finished that you think I should check out, feel free to let me know as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!